In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for the SR2 plus ion, that's strontium ion. Here we have strontium, just neutral strontium, not an ion, and this is the configuration. So when we look at just neutral strontium on the periodic table, it's right here. 38. So all of these are neutral atoms. That means their protons and the electrons, they're equal. The atomic number. This tells us the number of protons. So since it's neutral, number of protons equals electrons. We have these 38 electrons here for strontium. And if you count these superscripts up, you add these all up, you'll get 38. So this is neutral strontium. So let's look at how we got the electron configuration for neutral strontium, and then we'll take a look at the ion. So there's two ways to do it. One is you could use this chart right here. This is pretty common in high school chemistry and some college. If you look at the chart, you just go down. Here's 1s. S holds up to 2, so that's full. 2s holds up to 2, that's full. 2p6, 3s2, 3p, again p holds up to 6, that's full. 4s2, then we go to 3d10 here. D holds up to 10. 4p6, and then 5s2. And if you add the numbers up again, you'll get 38. So this is the electron configuration for just strontium. There's one more way we can do this. I think this is a much better way to do it. It really shows you the layout of the periodic table. So here we have the periodic table, and it's set up in what we call orbital blocks. So to write the configuration, it's very similar to the chart you just saw. We start out, we're going to follow the atomic numbers across. 1s1, 1s2, s only holds 2, so that's full. 2s1, 2s2, that's full. 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it's full, so we put 2p6. 3s2, 3p6. Then after 3p, we go to the 4s2. Then we get to the 3d10, 10 blocks across here, it's full. 4p6, and we end up with our 30th electron right here on our strontium, and that's our 5s2, and that's where we end here. So that's one way to do it, probably a better way to do it in my opinion. So now let's write the condensed notation and then we'll figure out the electron configuration for SR2+. So to write the condensed notation, we go to the element before the strontium. So here's 36, this is the krypton, then we go to 37, 38. So we count off 36 electrons here, that's 36. So that would be krypton, so we just write KR, we put it in the brackets and then we just put 5s2. That's the electron configuration in condensed notation for strontium. When strontium becomes an ion, it's going to lose the electrons in its highest energy level. It's going to lose these outer shell electrons right here. These are going to go away, and so the electron configuration for SR2+, that's going to be right here. And we would just write that. You could write it like Kr. It's the same configuration as Kr, so it's very stable because it's like a noble gas. If you wanted to write the whole electron configuration out for SR2+, that would be this right here. This is the electron configuration for SR2+. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.